Good morning everybody, welcome back to another vlog. I hope everybody has so far had a lovely Christmas and holiday season. Sasha's down here trying to say hello, let's just ignore her. So yeah, I just wanted to pick up the camera between the Christmas and New Year void, <laughs> let's just call it, where we don't know what day of the week it is, we don't know what date it is, it's fabulous. I love not knowing. So yeah, today is just a cozy day round home i've got a few things that i need to get done today so i just thought i'd fetch you along with me just you know that's what we're doing it so i've just filmed putting a little concoction together i'm not gonna drink it don't worry <laughs> uh, this is just some wash up liquid boiling water that's cooled slightly and sometimes put a bit of cleaning vinegar in as well and then i just drop my wedding and engagement ring in and I'll use a soft baby toothbrush and I just leave that till it cools down and then I just brush all around my diamonds and it's one of the most effective ways I've found of cleaning my diamond rings. So I just thought I'd share that with you. So I'm just going to leave that there while that does its little thing in the background. So how cute is this little gingerbread man mug? Oh, that's really hot on my hand. I bought this from Next a couple of years ago. It's a tiny little mug, it's so cute. And I'm having my coffee black at the moment and I don't like a huge pot of black coffee, but a nice short little black coffee is lovely. So, loving the little Diddy mugs at the moment. It's just so cute, it's so beautiful. Also, my eye. This one, for once it's not an allergy reaction, That why it's so, watery and puffy um quite embarrassing actually this morning when i was putting some new eye cream on you know i'm of that age i just got a little bit excited and ended up dobbing it in my eye i know i'm an idiot and it's just been streaming just watering and i've been wiping it and trying to clear the the residue of the stuff to stop it from streaming but no it's still just trying to flush something out of my eye so i have to keep going like this and dubbing it um but that's why for once it's not actually allergies um so today i'd like to tell you what date it is today but i honestly don't know it's the day after boxing day so what's that it's the 27th of december currently hopefully later on this afternoon i was hoping for this morning but this afternoon, it's just gonna have to be, we've got a delivery coming from Mr. Jeff at Amazon. And we have ordered for the kitchen a new knife block set. Anyway, we found one, we've bit the bullet and that's coming today. And Santa Claus also very kindly bought me a new ring um, light. I always wanna say ring camera, a ring light for my camera. Um, but it was huge. It was like something you'd get in a studio setting and it's not really ideal for moving around the house and trying to film different things. So Mr. Jeff is kindly taking that back and Mr. Jeff is um, delivering a, a nice little new one today. So hopefully later on I will be able to vlog and it won't be all dark and shadowy. You should hopefully be able to, to see me. So there's that coming with the knife block and is there anything else? Oh, something for Jesse. I ordered something for Christmas that wasn't quite right, so I had to do a swap. So that's coming today. Um, so the plan for today is, with the new knife block 
come in and we did used to have one years ago but i didn't like the idea of knives and scissors being out on the countertop when the kids back then were so young but now the youngest is 13 and that's not really an issue anymore it's time for a knife book again because trying to cook with a drawer full of knives all over the place and cooking utensils all kind of in a jumble in this drawer down here that I'm about to show you ruins the joy of trying to cook. 2024, I feel like, is a year to... Well, before actually 2024 comes in, I would like to do certain changes in preparation of the new year. I'm back to work on the 2nd of January and the end of 2023 was a little chaotic with just rushing with work and coming in and trying to do meals and you know prep veg and things like that and anything i can do while i've got the time off right now to aid evening life and weekend life once i'm back at work i know i'm going to be super glad that i did so that's what i'm doing today but just before i do i'm just gonna sit and enjoy my strong little black coffee I'm always organising the drawers. I never stop organising the drawers. It's a constant evolution. Much to the disapproval of the family because they always say they just sort of get used to where things are and I go and move things around again. But I don't see what difference it makes because whenever anyone tries to put something away, they always put it in the wrong place anyway. And then when I'm coming to try and find it and use it, I always find it in some weird and wonderful place. So... You never know, I might reorganise and put things in the places where people put in them anyway. So let's get going. Okay, so this is now sufficiently cooled. So I'm just going to give it a little scrub and then a rinse. Show you the sparkliness of how well this works. So for anyone who has any diamonds or precious stones, this is what we do. There we go, they've had enough of a clean, I think. I'm just gonna go and give them a rinse off now. Get them back on. Just fetch you over to the sink. Excuse all the mess. Little rinse in the water. Okay, and I'm just gonna dry these off a sec. And mine have actually gotten really tight on my club up and went on since these were initially bought for me. So, coming back on, that's one. I'll zoom in properly in a sec. Oh, there we go. And oh my God, the difference. When you get the lighting just right, they twinkle like you wouldn't believe. A little puppy dog wants to come and say hello again. Don't you little puppy dog, you love saying hello. It's whenever I start talking, I think you, you think you're missing out on something, don't you? Do you want to play? Oh, right, can you go down now? Now you've had a little look. I'm trying really hard to distract the dog so I can talk to you, but I'm the one getting distracted. Oh. I'm just going to show you this drawer right here where I'm stood. And it, it's a pain. It's an absolute pain. The point of today's vlog is kind of changing stuff around. So let me just flip you around I'm going to show you. So as you open this drawer... Right now, this is how it looks, and I hate it, because as soon as I have to cook, I just, are you all right? What? I know, baby, I know, I'm just talking to everybody. So it's a nightmare, trying to find anything. Once the knives come out, I'm going to radically kind of reassess the things I've got but also strip them right down because I know I do have multiples of things and I've done this years ago but somehow we've got new things again. So the first drawer that you open has got slow cooker, hand mixer, some silicone moulds for what, ice cubes or egg bomby things. I've got a milk frother and a panini press and then this internal drawer here it's really really wide and this has got cutlery sharp knives and other miscellaneous bits and bobs i can't tell you the last time 
I use anything out of this section here. This is this is what I'm thinking, okay? If I really condense all of these down here and then also really condense down these ones here and the eagle eyed of you will notice that this draw here is shorter than that draw however this one under the hob is the same width as that one there now this draw under my hob to me this right under the hob here is prime kitchen real estate but i've got these here that i don't use very frequently and then on this internal drawer, as you may have seen in other videos, I have got all my spices. Now this drawer here is the same width as this cutlery drawer over here. Right, let me just show you this. I just feel like, I'm actually feeling quite excited about it, but I feel like I'm not articulating it very well. Other than that, that is just absolute crap that doesn't need to be there. I'm, you'll know as well I'm going to say the word crap a lot because... Let's face it, it is. So 50% of this, maybe more, is gonna go. The other 50% that remains, I'm thinking can either, can go into this cutlery drawer, but this be moved down here. So it's right here as I'm cooking. But then if you notice with the spices, this spice rack here, it actually ends officially right there, you see? And all this stuff here is just kind of loose, just sort of thrown in. I mean, these, these don't need to be here. They could be stored elsewhere. So because that is shorter, just that, that spice rack official section, that that could fit in this part here. So it's still tanned whilst I'm cooking, still is right there, but I'm thinking this could be really good. And then, so if that, I'm just put that in there so I can move that over again. Push that in a sec. So these, these actually don't need to be in here because I don't use these very frequently at all. And again, do you know, I've probably not used them in so long. So we need to find another home for those that's out of the way but still accessible should I need them. Now this actual pan drawer, so again, we're straight underneath the hob. This is a nightmare because it's just gotten into a bit of a mess. Um, so something that I'm planning on buying for in here are those dividers that you can get from Amazon and other places just to try and help keep it orderly. I mean, I did buy a few years ago when we first got the kitchen. I don't know if you can see them. These. These like pan lid holders. I forgot a pan lid that I can show you. So the plan was that these were gonna hold the pan lids like that. And all the way around this drawer, around the outside, so that I could just have, but I mean this, this wok pan, I use this all the time, but it's just so big. And then it doesn't leave much space for the other things, but I can work on that another day, but that, that is another project for the future. We're gonna do it, boys and girls. So, that's what I was gonna say. So, I have done a online delivery. It's coming tomorrow of some Slimming World meals, which are really for taking to work. I don't know, I'm just struggling with momentum, and th this is why I'm doing the kitchen, because I feel like I don't wanna cook, because it's too much like hard work. I'm just not feeling motivated in my kitchen and I need to because otherwise nothing, nothing's gonna get done. So, so that's another reason why I'm doing it. So I'm hoping that when I've brought it all together and I've got my ingredients and I've, I'm gonna wanna cook. Do you know what I mean? So yes, we've got a mixed start on that and I'm really hoping that having everything I need to hand means I feel more, hmm, pumped and psyched about getting some cooking done in future. And I do also need to sort this pantry out. So anyway, I'm gonna set the camera up and we are going to make a start until my new goodies arrive. So let's, let's crack on, shall we? Oh, baby. Oh, you best be where. And though 
hold it down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. No, no. Cause I love you, baby. I can't let you go, baby. I gotta tell you that I won't. I've been looking for love so true. When I was down and down, along came you. Though you might be a liar and a cheat too. I just can't quit you now, cause I love you. Yes, I do. remaining out of the drawer actually done i'm glad you're here because you can help me with this well, these folks are actually from work oh okay well this is a dog fork so yeah. we need that look at that beautiful well i know but we just we don't ever use it do we it's just we surplus need to drink more beer. no it's not that we've got a bottle opener already so it's just like surplus to requirements you're going to put in my drawer aren't you you're making me feel really nervous Good, you should be really nervous. What we're going to do when we need a cup of tea and we need a spoon? Look, that's something a bridge I'll cross when I'll get to it. Who knows? Right, well, get rid of we'll these. check back in in a week's time and we'll see how many times you've walked there to get a spoon. Oh, I know, I know I'm going to do that. I do know. How many times do you think you're going to open this drawer? What's going on here? I've not thought that far yet. Why are you picking on me? <laughs> Do you find this hilarious? No, 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 no. no. We have had many draw changes around. I know, I have explained this already. On average, we've wasted 630 miles per year walking backwards and forwards. Well, you're getting your steps in, aren't you? <laughs> you're getting your steps in. Right, so, stop whinging. So I think some of these, I don't know why we're hanging on to these, probably don't ever, I've never used them, and I know I never will. I'm not a plastic cutlery kind of gal. Well, make sure they get recycled. Oh, well, they obviously. We don't want them. Not cracker. And we don't have no nuts. Dessert Beautiful. fork, that goes in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's that off now? What did you get that for? Is that that sausage pan or something? Yeah. Either. So we've got these for a fondue set and I'm pretty sure you threw the fondue set out. Well if you don't want any fondue... No I wanted it, it was a gift from... No oh, no it's in the loft, everything's oh, in is the it? loft. Right. There's more things in the loft, we've got slow cookers, flat cookers, medium cookers, fondue sets. This is why we need to have a big condense. Right, so can they go with the fondue set up in the loft? I can't believe you're throwing Jesse's large diameter straws. He never uses it and he's got other straws. We just get him in. He one for his milkshake. He doesn't have milkshake. Stop trying to overcomplicate it, okay. you. Okay, darling. I'm, I hope you're not videoing me in my farming clothes today. Of course I am. Hashtag Joe Seals. Yep. Is that his name? Who's got the farm near us? Right, so cocktail -y stuff. I feel like I've just moved things and you're just moving them around even more. Right, we don't need this, do we? We don't need that. 
Where are we? What? What are you wowing? Well, we don't. Okay. You're hanging on to something. We don't even need it. We don't have time to be sentimental, Daniel. Space is too precious. We've got the biggest kitchen in Europe. Yeah, I know, but I don't want it full of shit. It needs to be full of useful shit. <laughs> Utensil pots. So we're gonna get a small fat necked one, which will be good for things like my little short things. <laughs> so that's one, if you can see that. And then getting a taller one as well. <clears throat> I think it's them two actually we're getting because I, I already have the tall thin one with my like we say one. So these will be better for the other things that I need to stop. Another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. You make me anxious. I think I might be stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me, for me, it seems I. You're dropping clues There's no need to rush So let's just take our time Dropping everything Cause you're stuck on my mind My mind So just sit with me Talking to the night and to the morning Building camp mystery Next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be Oh, we were meant to be Oh, we were meant to be Oh, we were meant to be So just sit to the morning building can history I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me trying to find another way to say this but I think I think you were meant to be with me talking to the night That's 
my light camera. Not what? What is it? Light ring thing. It won't close because I need to sort that out. Okay. Um, I'm not ready yet. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> not ready to receive. I've got the notebook. I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along Okay, we're getting there um, <clears throat> It's actually quite enjoyable actually So this drawer is Okay, so from the top The first one that I get to as I'm cooking Is cutlery Um Tongs and things, these kind of utensils that I use a lot. There's straws in here that I don't really use that often, but they are there. The dog fork, food fork, um, weighing things because I often need these when I'm preparing food. And then the less used items, but equally just as um, need to lay my hand straight on them. Drugs, salad spinner, um, that's an awkward bloody thing as well by the way because it's, it's really difficult to find somewhere for that. Other kind of cooking tools and whatnot, but like I say, used less frequently. And then these two casserole large um, cast iron ones are just over here. It's the following day guys, um, time just got away with me yesterday while I was in the middle of doing all the organising and decluttering, um, so today I just wanted to pick up the camera and just finish off, so just emptying the dishwasher, putting a few things away and I did the pantry as well yesterday but I never got to film that because both my batteries went flat and I didn't get them charged up in time. So yeah, I'm just finishing off, folding a bit of laundry, treating myself to a little cup of tea 
And that's everything. So if you're still here, thanks so much for joining me today. I really hope you've enjoyed this type of video. Um, please leave me some comments or give me some likes if you are enjoying what you're seeing. And make sure you subscribe and uh, get notifications ready for the next one. And I'll see you again real soon. Lots of love. Take me back to the Take me back to those easy summer days When we stopped at nothing, baby Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby They couldn't take us, they couldn't change us They couldn't catch us if they tried Now we didn't care at all About winter or spring or fall We felt so alive and girl, we were thriving on kisses and sunshine and mischief Yeah, we had one of those things uh -huh. We just had one of those things